So we met the summer of 2003. We were um, both in this program called Summer Bridge. It's, also called, it's called the Breakthrough Collaborative now. And it's a program where they take students who are in high school and in college and have them teach middle school students. So I remember our first meeting being that we were having like all these team building exercises, it's just the staff. And so they had us all hold hands and then we had to like twist under each other and we were all still holding hands and you had to untwist yourselves. And I remember us doing that and I remember Kenny just being there and that being what we did the first day. My first recollection, which is the truth, <laughs> was um, I had to have a more hair shirt on because you know, that's the only way I would have had my first. It's the only way you would have talked to me, not knowing me probably, because I wouldn't say anything to you. But um, I, we both came, we both arrived at the high school at the same time. We walked in the building. Uh, she saw my shirt and she said, oh, you go to, you go to Morehouse? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, I go to Clark. And so that was the first time we met. And then of course, during that, uh, the icebreaker, she said that she made a point to uh, grab my hand. Did you say that? You Hold on. No, she said that because during the game, you 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 had, you had to link it with somebody that was not directly next to you and so, hold their and yeah. yeah and hold on to their hand. Maybe I did. I don't think so. One of the first conversations I can call one of my first like I guess private conversations was when uh, a student of hers who also I had in math class because I taught math in uh, Spanish and she was she was English in history. Mm -hmm. She uh, called to tell me that a student couldn't do the homework because he like, because he didn't understand it, and so I was like, oh great. Thank you. And then she just <laughs> proceeded to ask me a whole lot of questions. So what do you like to do? Oh, I'm like, oh, okay. So we ended up talking for like an hour. And I, and I, every day after that, we started, you know, hanging out after school, playing little text twist game. On Yahoo, yeah. <laughs> we were pretty good though. We were, we still are good at it. Yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, we, we hung out a lot and then, um, it was getting towards the end of the summer and Kenny had to leave like a week early from the program. So it was, you know, we had said our goodbyes and then he called me that weekend and he said, I couldn't see you with anybody else when we get back to campus. Do you want to be my girlfriend? I was like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> and so I ran downstairs and told my family and I was really happy. But yeah. Now, the backstory behind that was the summer was winding down, and I think she wanted a relationship. I I told her towards the end, I'm like, no, nah, I don't want a relationship. When when we get back to school, I would kind of want to be free. And then uh, on that Sunday, like I, I worked at, at CVS, even though I was at so it was like my part time job. I've been working at CVS since I was like a junior in high school. And one of my uh, friends who was working the same time as me, we were just going back and forth. I'm like, man, I was like, Anthony, man, should I? I'm like, I don't know if I just want to break it off with this girl. Man. Should I call her back? He's like, no, nah, man. And I was like, I, the whole time during my shift, I'm like, man, okay, okay, you got to make a decision here. Make a decision here. And finally, on like my 15 minute break, you know, I just went outside, made the phone call, and said, hey, you know, oh, hey, T, you know, what's going on? You know, I, 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 I don't want to be just, just your friend. I can't see anybody else, you know, being with you. So she's like, okay, okay, cool. I don't think I said you want to be my girlfriend. I think I just said, you know, I don't want to see you with anybody else. She's like, oh, great. Together ever since. <laughs> A decision made in CVS. <laughs> so Kenny and I were living in, we were in Philadelphia at this point. Um, and so we, <laughs> we had a vacation, we had vacation time to take um, in the June of, yeah, end of June, 2008. And so I said, you know, what do you want to do? I'm a planner, so I'd been talking about it for months. And I was like, you know, you're not giving me any ideas what we really want to do. And he's like, oh, I don't know. And at the last minute, he's kind of like, we should go do something. And I remember that night, him on a computer looking up places to go, you know, it's close enough to drive. Anyways, we ended up driving to Virginia Beach for the weekend, something he planned all by himself, which is such a feat in and of itself. And so he had planned this vacation for us. It was like our first vacation together, other than going home to Connecticut. It was our first vacation. And he, um, yeah, so he planned this trip. We went to Virginia Beach. We stayed at a hotel like right on the beach. And we were out on the beach one day and we had the blanket, we had the umbrella and everything was flying all over the place. 
and then he's like, there's this game I want you to play. And so we really like playing games. We already talked about sex toys. We play a lot of card games. We play any game out there. We've tried it probably at least yeah, one, at yep. least and once. Yeah, <laughs> at least once. And so Kenny said, Is there, uh, there's this game I want you to play. So he pulls out um, this box. It's a little tiny box and it was blue and brown. And I open it up and there's a deck of cards inside. I'm like, oh, this will be fun. You know, something that I had, I was so clueless. I was like, oh, this will be so fun. And so we start setting up the game on, there's instructions to set it up on the blanket and it says lay down the cards and it's order to like, deuce of diamonds, king of hearts, you know, to lay them out. And then it said turn the cards over. And you turn the cards over and I wish I had it in front of me because it was such, you know, sweet letter or poem. It was just words that were so sweet. And then at the end it said, will you marry me? And I turned and Kenny was, had the ring out. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. And it's funny because in the set of everything, like the cards were blowing on the beach, so we kept running over to get the cards and lay them back down. And I wasn't putting it all together that it was something, it was something Kenny would do because it's, you know, we love to do that kind of thing. And I had no clue that this was, that I was getting engaged with. I had no clue. I don't know. You know why she had no clue? Because I had no clue. <laughs> People ask us a lot, um, how have you lasted so long? <laughs> or how do you stay together for seven years and I guess not lose your mind? Um, and there's, I think, a lot to it. I think something that we tend to do is little decisions. We may, like I may pick at it for a long time because I'm really indecisive. Or I may, like Kenny and I may discuss it for a long time. Um, and, but we, those usually come to us easily. Um, I mean, those are usually more difficult. Big decisions come to us really easily. It's like, we want to move, we're moving right away. We want to buy a car, we're buying a car today. <laughs> we want to, you know, do this, do that. And I think that really speaks to how supportive we are each other and how much we trust each other. We know that, you know, if, if I decide that I'm ready to go back to school or I want a career change, that I know Kenny's there to be supportive of that. And I can trust that he has my best interests at heart. So I appreciate that. I mean, if you know this girl, she's a very unique person. Like, Don't make me sound strange. She's very funny. <laughs> she's very funny. She has a great personality. She's very smart. She has strong opinions, which, which I like. She's very organized. Basically, it's almost like I needed to find someone who had the same goals as me, but also, like, whatever I lacked in, I kind of wanted than to have, like how I may not, not talk so much, she would talk <laughs> a whole lot. You know, like, you know, like. I, I think kind of on those same notes, like Kenny's everything I'm kind of not. He's very, um, he's passionate about a lot of things, which I really appreciate. And just seeing his passion, I think, makes me more excited about doing things in life and just, just being together. Um, Kenny's also very smart. He's always teaching me new things, and whether it's something with math or a new rap song or <laughs> a new dance, we're always learning things together, so I appreciate that. And I think Kenny just, he provides that safety and security that I'm, I've just always been looking for and I really need, and I think that's what makes our relationship work, is we complement each other really well. Well, my attendees are my four younger sisters who I love so much and I miss them right now. I can't wait to see them for this wedding. Um, so the first one is my maid of honor, my sister Adriel. She's a couple years younger than me. And I, I really chose my sisters because they are my closest friends. We spend, when we are together, we just love being together. We really enjoy it. And we obviously grew up together. But it's, you know, as we got older, we moved to our different you know, onto different things, whether it's college or jobs, or whatever it may be. And it's nice to just have them all with me to support me. And, you know, they love me, they love Kenny, they, they love being with us. And I think they really are looking forward to it. So, so yes, I chose Adriel as my maid of honor. Then my next sister in line is also a maid of honor, Ashley. Um, and we're all, as the older three, we're just really close. Um, and we've been through a lot together. And I know they're there to have my back and give me hugs and tell me when I'm crazy and tell me, you know, tell me when I just need to take a deep breath. So um, it's good to have them with me. And then my sister Ayana, or Yanni as we call her, she's our bridesmaid. 
And so she's there just to, again, be supportive and really just, she brings joy and happiness wherever she is. So I love having Yanni be, be with us. Um, and then last but not least um, is the Junior Bridesmaid, Asia. And she's 11 and she's, you know, the youngest of the bunch, but probably, probably the most opinionated. She probably, <laughs> she probably has the most just, you know, she just has ideas and she loves talking about them. And I just love watching her grow up and watching her learn. And I think, I also think it's great for my sisters to see that you can find love and you can find someone who's there for you and committed to you and just really be, as the oldest, be that example for them. Um, oh, and then the little ones, my cousins, Autumn and Taylor, who are five and three, and they're going to be the little flower girls for the wedding day, so they'll be precious. Yeah, we're all really excited. What about you? <laughs> oh, my uh, groomsmen, well, I have uh, three groomsmen, two best men, you know, I, it was pretty simple, like, the closest people in my life, the people I, you know, just be myself around is my younger brother. Uh, Troy and uh, my best friend Katz. I said that my two best men because I need them for different reasons, you know. So <laughs> and then and then Noel, my, my younger cousin. I said we uh, grew up together, so that's why you know I had to have him in there. So it's it's just that's the people who I want, you know, looking sharp and his tux, <laughs> taking these photos. So. so he he planned the honeymoon, um, and we're going to Mexico. And I don't know what the actual city is. It's like right outside Cancun. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes and sure. it'll be a really nice resort and we'll get to relax. And, and I did my homework on this one. Yeah, he worked hard to when get When I say I submitted stuff to her and she looked at me and like, <laughs> I'm not no. like a. <laughs> so I did my research, so. <laughs> he did research. You know, it should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll be our first vacation out of the country together, which should be something different and new yeah. for us. Hopefully we'll do that a lot more, but yeah, we're excited.